I have in front of me a HDMI over power line adapter. So this is a really fantastic piece of equipment. What it can do is it can take the HDMI output from a set-top box. We can use this to convert it uh, into a signal that runs through the existing power lines in the house and it comes back out in another point, uh, another power point, converts back into a, um, a HDMI signal and we can run it then to have display the output on a, a, a television in a second location. Also, we'll say, uh, in terms of the setup, we can come along and we can use it with um, IR sensors on it. So we can pick up the signal from the remote control, send it back to the set-top box, and actually change channels from the remote location. So it works extremely well. The one, a few points I'm going to make on it. We deliver, uh, this is uh, uh, delivered anywhere in Ireland or the UK for free. Um, the overview video here will demonstrate exactly how it works and how to set it up. Um, it's a really re premium product. It's a very specialized use. It has a great range up to 100 meters, but it is quite uh, expensive. So if you're able to run, we'll say a HDMI lead or something else, to be able to cover that distance, you'd never use a solution like this. But there are certain applications where only this will work, and they are reasonably popular because there's a niche market for them, and that's particularly why we stock them, simply because there is needs for them. So the overall here, they come in the outer box here. We have two um, power inputs. Uh, the leads here and we've IR sensors we'll come to in a minute and basically what we have is we have a transmitter unit and we also have a receiver unit so what I might do is I think I'll move to the front here and I'll just give it an overview of the transmitter unit okay so um, what we'll have here at this point in time is We have, um, this is transmitter unit, so what we'll do is we'll take a HDMI input, in this particular demonstration it's out of shot, but we're actually using a Humax high definition set-top box. So we'll feed it in here, and what we have then is we have a signal will run out through the power port um, and into the power mains, okay? So, um, so to that extent anyway, it's, a, it's very neat and straightforward. One thing to note here is we have an output on this as well. So just say we had a set-top box next to a local TV and we want to send it to a second television. We don't need to use a HDMI splitter in conjunction with this. We can actually use this as a splitter. So we can have the local television connected directly off this unit uh, after being fed by the set-top box. And uh, we have an IR sensor here, which we'll come back to in a few moments' time. Now, if we just look at the front of the units, we just have a reset button here on it, okay? So if we'll come along anyway. So that's what we'll have next to the set-top box. And on the far end, we'll say, imagine it in another room that's on the same power mains line, and it's maybe 50, 60 meters away. What we'll have is this unit here. So what this is, it pulls in the power into the unit, and what we can do here is we can simply take it back out from here and run that power, uh, a HDMI lead, directly to your TV, okay? So uh, that's it. Now the reason that the IRs are here is, just say in the, in the remote location you came along and you have a remote control, we'll say, for your Humax box, what you're able to do is if you come along and use the IR sensors, so I'm just going to use this IR sensor here, so this is marked IR in, so just connect this off here, if we aim the remote control, the Humax remote control or the Sky remote, whatever, but directly onto this, it'll pick up the signal from the uh, Sky remote control, it'll send it through the power lines and it'll pop back up in the far end and we have an out a cable on the far end and what we'll do this is we'll aim this directly at the set-top box and if when we aim it at the set-top box, um, uh, it's able to take the signal that came from the remote that's passed through the power lines and we're able to direct it directly into the sensor on the front of the set-top box and allows us to change channels or whatever uh, from the remote location. So it works extremely well. So what we have here in our demonstration, our setup here is, uh, we have just exactly what I've described here. So we have our set-top box, we've taken a HDMI um, output from our uh, set-top box, We've run it directly into our box, and then what we have is we have um, the receiver unit on the far end. What it does is it picks up the signal and runs it directly into the television here. And uh, it just allows us then to um, pick it up in the remote location. So hopefully you get the general idea of how this would work. Uh, overall, we'll say uh, the quality on this is very, very good. We've done extensive testing both here in our factory, but also we brought it home uh, to uh, one of the engineers' houses here, tested it out, and worked extremely well. So we've added it on. I'll say again, it's sort of a niche product, but there is particularly applications there where you have a power line running to the thing and you want two things. You want brilliant HD quality picture at the second location, and you want the ability as well to be able to change channels. This product does both 
very very straightforward and simple to install there's no drilling adding wires all the rest of it and uh, the installation time on it on a standard setup like this might be only maybe 10 minutes or so you have the entire thing running so that's it anyway hdmi uh, over power line adapter available on freetv.ie